once upon a time her Nazareth were purer than snow they were whiter than milk some of you are here you had God's covenant over your life very dearly covenant people looked at you and felt you are too extreme in your commitment to God there are things you will never touch. There are things you will never eat. There are places you will never go. There is consecration upon your life that distinguishes and separates you from others. But today, if you can't beat them, what do you do? You join them. You have joined them. You have dropped your Nazarite consecration of purity. Once upon a time, her Nazareth were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. No stain. No dent. No wrinkle. No mess. No death. No foolish acts. They were more rooted in body. Your face radiated the glory of God tangibly. When people are in pain, they felt like coming around you. Even the smile on your face settled. When people are confused, they tell themselves, Let me go and see Brother Jonathan. If I go there, I know that is it, that the word of the Lord in his, is in his mouth for me. And once you open your mouth, their cases are settled. Their bodies melt away. How come? How come? How come? How come? You have changed. So relevant, so impactful, such a great blessing, such a great impact. Everyone around you knew the hand of God was upon your life. Why have you come normal? normal like every other person. You have joined them because you can't reach them. Her Nazareth were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of saffron. Verse 8. Their visage now is blacker than a gold. Ah! Purer than snow. Now, darker than gold. What a degeneration. What a fall. What a crash. If you look at who you used to be, Verse 7 fits your past, but for...